Hi Maker Lab people. So today I am going to be teaching a fun activity on doing some kind of paper toy fidgets, uh, which I'll get to a little bit later. But before we get into that, I'm sure you're all dying to know what the next 3D print prompt is. So we do a class at Maker Lab or at Two Rivers Gallery that focuses in on design and industries using 3D printing in order to create their pieces and prototyping for what they eventually would like to design. And one of the ways that we actually do that is we take real world pieces and ask you to design it. So today I am going to ask you to be influenced by a wonderful piece of architecture done by Masha Safdie. It was done for Expo 67, so Expo 1967, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The piece is called Habitat 67. It is a unique and unusual piece where he actually came in and created modules, kind of like concrete boxes that was then placed one on top of each other. Now I have done this class before in Maker Lab and a student came up with this design, influenced by Masha Safdie's piece. So as you can see, it's kind of cool. It has like the cube effect. They're all layered one on top of each other. So I would love for you to find this photo and be influenced by this wonderful piece of architecture. Now on to the activity, <laughs> this week's activity. This first one is a favorite at Maker Lab. And with classes that I teach, it is completely made out of paper and it is a fidget spinner. So let's see if I can fidget it. So what you will need is the actual PDF design those should both be linked in the Facebook post above me or in the YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube channel. Uh, if you download those, those pieces, then you'll be able to print those and follow along. I do recommend that you print them onto uh, cardstock, so a heavier stock of paper. If you don't have cardstock, that doesn't matter. You can also use regular paper. You will also need a pair of scissors or scissors. I like calling them scissors. And you will need some pencil crayons or markers or pens or whatever you have at home in order to make them nice and colorful. And the last two things you will need is a glue stick. You might also need to use hot glue, but today we're gonna be doing glue stick and some scotch tape. Okay, so enjoy. I look forward to seeing everyone's fidget spinners and I really look forward to seeing everybody's 3D print designs. Bye for now. Bye.